Hello comrades, it's Premier Rever here and I would like to announce that I'm going to do a live stream at about 5 p.m. Eastern US time which is about 10 o'clock in London so hopefully that's a time that can work out for as many people as possible if I look at the geo like when you do a YouTube videos I'll show you like which countries you're getting views from and and it's almost, I think there's probably a few more people, like over a little over 50% United States, but quite a few in Europe. So doing my best to pick a time that's as good for anybody. I know if you're on the West Coast of the United States, it's you'd have to be available at three, two, two in the afternoon. And if you're on the eastern side of Europe, you're probably talking about 12 o'clock at night. So my thought is, well, people, you know, that come in at two can watch the... Uh, watch the replay if, if you're on the west coast of the United States or something. But anyway, I hope that time works out for as many people as possible. Uh, let me know. Anyway, I thought this would be a good opportunity. I, I make these videos and yeah, I, I get some good feedback from some people in the comments and I really truly appreciate it. And I also feel like, well, there's probably people that, you know, want to participate, potentially say some things, even if, you know, even if it's just a criticism, but I welcome everybody. Hopefully we can form a little group. I tried to do something last week. Not too many people participated, but that's okay too. Even if there's two of us, you know, I, I'm going to play the game tonight either way. So I welcome you back if you watched a little bit last week. And uh, I know I didn't give any notice. So, so here's your notice, a few hours notice anyway. Okay, here's going to be the rules of it. I'm starting out with this town. And the biggest difference between this and last week is that I've, quote, prepaid with with dollars during the construction for everything that would keep these people happy. Because what happened last week was I just ended up having like a mass exodus of people because I'm on the hardest keep them happy mode. I couldn't build these things fast enough in order to keep them happy. So without at least a starting base where they have you know, some sports and a pub and whatever else they kind of want, the school. You know, I was really just, it was almost impossible. I just spent a lot of money, kept importing people, and I don't probably have enough money to make this work anyway. So I think it's well worth spending the extra dollars to get those things done. And it's not like, even when I do the construction at this point, there's really no big benefit because I'm not making my own gravel. I'm not there's really nothing here and you know to to speak for it so I wanted to point out on this map you know as far as this being is this the hardest start i mean i'm sure you could do some things to torture yourself more than this but at the same time it doesn't get a lot harder than this hard starting money and and just as far away from anything as possible uh if we take a better look at the map i just want to also point out that this area, we do have some gravel, which is great because, hey, that's that's probably one of the first things you want to get besides power. At one point, I connected. I thought, well, I'm not going to get a power plant, right? And this is what killed a lot of my money. This was just getting this set up was 300000 or something like that. So $300,000. So that, that just killed a lot of the dollars right there. But each of the things I have here, sorry, I'm jumping back to this subject is things that I need in order to be able to import the things I need to be able to do the construction, right? So, oh, you know what? Can we buy? No, we can only buy trucks. Anyway, I'm sorry, distracting. I'm going to stop distracting myself. So the point is, is like, you know, we got a gravel pit. We've got a warehouse where we can import mechanical components. We've got, you know, a, a depot where we can buy buses. We have you know, bus platform so we can get these guys running. Now, I could have put those guys a little bit closer, but at the same time, I want to put a gravel plant right here, gravel processing, gravel ore processing, and then we can run some conveyors over to here once we get that set up. So I didn't want them right here because where, you know, I got a power plant here. If I get a quarry with some roads, that's, that's definitely going to be the first step. But anyway, I wanted to point out that there's really not much in the area. There's a little bit of, of ore back over here. A little, but I mean, it's not even great. Like this is not a bad spot, but none of it's truly green. 
but we might be able to get over there and get some coal eventually. And if we come over here, oops, did I get that, that stupid message? I, I wish I could turn off these messages, but yeah, I'm on iron mine now. So we do have a decent iron splotch here, right? So the question is, you know, would it be worth trying to get a steel mill going? And I honestly, I don't think it would, you know, because I think it's just going to be so costly to buy that steel in that we may be better off, you know, maybe going for like a relatively smallish farm over in this area. You know, we have to get to kind of an area. We could try to get up over the hill and then we have a really nice kind of farm area over here. But every minute I spend building a road over to there is going to be another minute of, you know, of just time it takes. And it's just going to be, you know, I have to build another construction thing where we might be able to get away with, you know, building another town within the zone of this construction office here. Which leads me to, I do wish you could have like a, like a lot of games, like have an area effect. It would be nice if you could, even if you had to click on a special button here, like you do with almost like the electrical, like how far could I construct with this thing? But I think even if we were going to go over there, I, I still would probably like to get a town here where, because I think we can, even if it's not pretty, we can get a few farms in here and at least get some food and distillery maybe going and that also lets you potentially do like clothing which could be a decent export anyway i think you guys get the idea there's and there's no oil by the way either like not not anywhere close so it's not like we have some oil thing that we can just go and, and start up on fuel so this is going to be really tough. I mean, it's, you know, I only have $730,000 left and I need to get some kind of an export. And the only way I'll export power is if I build a road to someplace first, right? So I will we'll put power lines up, but then that's going to cost a small fortune if I don't have a steel mill, right? Because it, it, probably the most realistic place to build a road to is all the way up here at this Molna. First of all, because it's rubles, you'd almost certainly want to go with that because if you just get dollars, you're not going to be able to... One of the problems is we've got to buy vehicles. So, And also with Molna, we don't have to cross a road or a river. If we can't try to come over here, which is really just about as far away, we'd have to cross this river right there. And that's going to be pretty costly compared to I could just put a dirt road up to Molna. But I'm not going to count a dirt road as a road to build the power lines from. <laughs> so, or maybe we should, right? I mean, maybe that is the key to actually being able to do this is to build a dirt road and then try to get a big power line from our power plant all the way up to there. And I think I could afford to do that. I almost know I could. Um, but again, well, let me know. We'll, we'll talk about that in the beginning of the episode. But I'm thinking that until I get a gravel road all the way up to Molna, I am not going to build a power line to parallel it and therefore make it just that much harder. You know, I want to be not self-sufficient, but at least, you know, make it realistic. I know I could build a power line right now with dollars, export from the power plant, and it would be done. Like, it, I would make money, and it just takes away a good portion of the challenge, so. Well, there we go. I hope, look forward to maybe seeing a couple of you guys tonight. More the merrier. Uh, it's much, I hope, a chance for you guys to chat with each other in the chat. And I will try this week to get the chat up on the screen, though I can't promise that technology. <laughs> but I do promise I'll, I'll work on that after this video. So, all right. Well, I hope to see you there. And I hope you have a good day until then. And uh, take care. Bye-bye.